All right, here we are at the end of the Rain Trilogy, and the rain has practically stopped, and no, we're not going in that direction. What we're going to do is uh, turn 180 degrees, and we're going into the greatest oasis in Amsterdam, the Begeinhof. This is one of those places that on a Saturday, when the city is full of hustle and bustle and people are running every which way, you can come in here for a breather. It's a very quiet spot. Um, here on the left, you're seeing what will become the wall of the English Reformed Church, I believe. And uh, we're moving into this other sp spot, which is well, this uh, little paradise, shall we say, where I think only ladies live here. Somebody once told me the history of this place, but I can't honestly say, I can't remember it. I just love it. I've always loved it. And I think I come in here at least once every couple of months, just for a bit of, um, I don't know, a bit of peace or something like that. And uh, you can see these sort of barriers here. They say these are for residents only, as you see. Because with the rate of tourism at the moment, I can imagine this being super overrun by all kinds of people. But anyway, let's just have a gander and have a peek. I see a door opening. And closing over there. Just look at this. Yeah, it almost makes me want to say nothing at all because it's just so quiet. And somewhere in the background, you can probably hear the church bell, or you could have just heard it. And uh, yeah, just take a look. Okay. Let's move this way. There's a statue that I want you to have a look at in a moment. That you can have a peek at the statue of Jesus, and I believe that's a halo. You can probably hear an airplane overhead. This uh, it all depends on the wind. If the wind is right, Amsterdam can be very peaceful. If the wind is wrong, it's incredibly noisy. So I hope you pick up my voice above that. And there's that statue of Jesus that we're looking at. I'll see us. If I can get closer to it, move around this way a little. And the, uh, oh, that's funny, the and those are fillers, noises we make to pass the time. So, yeah, see, there you see it. And so then I'm going to sort of turn around very slowly. This is the wall of the English church. Um, a couple of tourists, or maybe a couple of churchgoers waiting to go in or out. It's actually quite calm, and I don't think people come here unless you know it. You don't. It's on one of those places you can just find. Uh, well, you can find it by accident, because I found it by accident, simply by seeing people go through a particular door. And uh, it, as I said earlier, it was a sort of wow moment. So there you see the door of the church when they're going out. There's the door of the church. Open that. And this time the whispering is simply because I don't want to make a lot of noise. This is there's nothing artistic about this whisper. It's just uh, try not to disturb people. That's interesting. I see a gentleman walking somewhere. Wait, this guy there. He does look like you normally wouldn't end up in this place because of those barriers, residents only. But of course, we're all daredevils. <laughs> And, uh, oh yeah, there's this wall. It's a nice wall that I like. Let's go and have a look at that. See, here it is. We've got this beautiful wall with showing different things. I think scenes from the Bible and stuff like that. So, on that note, with the rain barely falling, I'm going to call it a day as far as this trilogy goes. So I hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> I did. <laughs>